the board in order to service all the stakeholders of the enterprise absolutely must look at the long-term frame of reference within which the corporation operates. By holding on to our value structure, and clearly sustainability is part of that value structure, then you have a board that's performing its duty better than it would be in a vacuum of trying to make decisions episodically as things come before them and waiting to be a reactive rather than proactive. Sustainability is on the agenda for the GAP board because any board needs to be thinking about the long-term viability and success of the company. And risks like scarcity of resources are going to be more and more important over the long term. There's also a lot of opportunity with respect to sustainability for GAP when you think about potential product innovation, for example. At GAP, I think the board has been helpful to us from a sustainability perspective in two ways. One, I think they have asked us questions and given us feedback that has caused us to be sparked or inspired, to really think about what could we do that we're not currently doing. At the same time, some of management's proposals are enhanced by the board getting excited about what we might bring forward and encouraging and championing us to do something bigger. So I think sometimes the board may bring the idea and sometimes management brings the idea, but in collaborating together, the board and management can really take sustainability to the next level. If the board remembers that it's there for the long term, that it's really not supposed to be trying to react to quarter to quarter pressures, then it becomes increasingly clear that the board has an ongoing dialogue with the management team. What are our values? and how do we implement them in the marketplace. The board holds what it stands for clearly. It has its values clear. Those tend to transcend the single tenure of one or more CEOs. And that envelope then provides the place within which strategy can be created by the management team in consultation with the board so that the strategy is a way to further those long-term values and then can be converted by management into tactics. If you don't have a board that's educated on sustainability, you could certainly provide various materials such as white papers and um, you, know, you could even bring in some kind of a board educator on sustainability. Always looking at the materiality of the issues that you face as well as how you're doing compared to your competition is important. Well, you don't want the board meddling in management, and that's absolutely true. Conversely, you don't want the board abdicating. Um, the, the dustbin of history is full of companies with boards who relegated their responsibility of oversight. Mm -hmm.